Force Triad Energy Platform Preventive Calibration with QAES-3. This video demonstrates how to perform calibration on the Force Triad Energy Platform using the Fluke Biomedical QAES-3 Electrosurgical Analyzer. You should calibrate the Force Triad before performing routine maintenance. While calibration is not part of preventive maintenance, it is required when components are replaced. Make sure the calibration is performed on a non-conductive surface. Do not use anti-static benchtop mats. Note, after completing any calibration section, reboot the system to save the values from that calibration section. Calibration consists of 10 steps. Step 1. LC Filter Tuning LC filter tuning is rarely required. When necessary, these are the steps when using the QAES-3. Make sure the force triad is off. Remove the four screws, securing the chassis cover. Remove the cover. Connect a red test lead from the left input jack of the monopolar 1 port to the variable high jack of the QAES-3. Connect the ESU dispersive safety lead to the variable low and the REM port on the force triad. Press F2 on the QAES-3 to enter vessel sealing mode. Select 0 ohm load. Turn on the force triad. Touch the wrench icon on the right side of the screen. Select Service. Enter password as provided in the manufacturer service manual and press Enter. Select Diagnostics and then Debug Mode. Select Mono Blend from the drop down list. Choose Mono 1. Select Open Loop. Set level to 20% using the Up button. Press F4 for Start Continuous on the QAES-3. Select Start RF on the force triad. Adjust the inductor potentiometer located on the HVDC PCBA to get the lowest possible reading on the QAES-3. Select Stop RF when the optimal current value has been reached. Turn system off. Unplug the leads. Apply Loctite or an equivalent to the inductor potentiometer. Reinstall the cover on the force triad and reboot the system to save the calibration data.